and we're back. This time I'm going to show you kind of a blinds effect in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start on the view, make sure that your smart guide then snap to point is activated. We want to have a black fill, no stroke color. I'll use the type tool and I type in some random letters. It doesn't really matter what you use. I'll shift and alt when I resize that with the selection to V. It's important to have a bold font. In this case, I use Mirrored Variable Concept. Then right click and create outlines. And now we've turned it into shapes. So the G is the letter that gives us the top and bottom outlines of these letters. Now I change the fill color. Deselect your letters first before I change the fill color. Then I use the rectangle tool. Should be good. I press V for the selection tool, hold Alt, drag a copy out of it, and then I hold Shift. That way it is aligned perfectly to the top one. I position it at the bottom of the first one, and then I press Ctrl D until I've got my letters covered. Make sure that you've got in total an uneven number of rectangles. Then select all of the rectangles, arrange, and send them to back. Select your letters and then hold shift and resize it. So that way the G, as I've said, is our top and bottom outline and it fits the rectangles perfectly. Now select it all, use the shape builder to hold alt and get rid of what we don't need. At first only the red ones. I like to use black and red when I do that as it creates a good contrast and I can find these smaller spots easily. Now that we're done, just get rid of every second rectangle within the letters. Once again, you simply hold Alt and then lift click for it. think in the M there are some smaller red shapes I need to get rid of as well. As I said, you see that very well when you use red compared to black. To make sure that you only have a black color, once again select it all make the full color black. And this is how you can recreate this effect in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.